Hey guys, welcome back to Data with Dominic and welcome to this next video in our PySpark tutorial series. Today we're going to be looking at the where function in our PySpark which allows us to basically filter the data we have in our data frame. So let's begin right away. Alright, so I've just uh, put some basic code in and I'll take you through it. The first is, or even before that actually, if you want to see all the code that we're using in this demo, we've got a GitHub repository which I link to in the description below. And uh, as well as if you want to use uh, the Databricks Community Edition and uh, have access to PySpark for free, I'll link to a video of mine in the top right corner of the screen which shows you how to do that. Okay, so jumping back to the code in the first cell, we've basically read uh, CSV file that we have in our Databricks file store to a data frame and then we're displaying it in the next line. So I've got videos with how to do all of this stuff. So just check out my PySpark tu uh, tutorial playlist and you'll see all of this. So this is what the data, this is what the CSV file looks like when it's converted to a data frame. So we've got six columns, ID, first name, last name, email, gender and IP address. And I just checked the schema as well. That is the data types of each of the columns and I can see that we basically have ID, which is the first column, which is numbers, is being read as a string. So I think for the purposes of this video, I just wanted to make it an integer. So we have uh, different data types to work with. So what I've done is I've uh, changed the data type to integer of the column ID. So I've got a video on how to do this. I link to that in the top right corner of the screen, but basically it's just this code and you can apply it to your situation wherever you want using the dot with column function and then I'm after running this command I am checking the new schema and then we can see that that ID has become integer where it used to be a string and just to make sure that none of the data is changed I'm going to yeah I've displayed the data frame again and you can see it's pretty much the same as before all right so now let's get into the whack function in uh, PySpark. So to use the where function, what we have to do is basically just uh, do a df dot where, all right, the data frame dot where, and then we open parentheses, and then we can give our condition. So how do we give a condition? Suppose we want to extract all uh, females in the, all uh, persons who are female in this data frame, we can do a df dot gender that is to access the column we have to give the data frame variable name dot the column name and then we can use the equal uh, comparison operator or equals to operator in python which is the two equals to sign and then we can specify the condition that we want in this case female so when we run this it sort of just uh it executes it but since we've not uh specified anywhere that we want to display it we don't get an output so how to do how to fix that we just put wrap this in a display and now when we run this we should see a data frame with only females in there we're not actually saving it to a new data frame if we wanted to do that we would have to do like a df2 is equal to df dot where etc but i'm just wrapping it in a display for the purposes of this demonstration so uh, let's say we wanted to then find uh, all the people in this data frame who had an ID number which was over 20. All right, so we can go with the same approach display df dot where, open the parenthesis, and in this situation, we would do df ID greater than 20. You can see I'm not using uh, code since it's an integer data type and that is why I had converted it earlier in the video so I could show you guys uh, the difference so now when we run this we can see that we've got IDs starting uh, above 20 since we have specified the greater than not the greater than or equal to sign All right and now finally what we can show you is basically using the logical operators to combine conditions so you can specify multiple conditions to work with. So let's say we want people whose ID is above 20 and are female, right? So we can do a display df dot where we open the parenthesis. And then the important thing to remember when we want to specify multiple conditions is that each condition has to be wrapped in a parent in a bracket, 
All right, so I'm opened another bracket and I'm going to specify DF ID greater than 20. Let's clean it up. And then normally in Python, you would think to write and, but in this situation, or uh, in PySpark, when we are mult when we are uh, combining many conditions, we have to use the ampersand sign for and, and for the or uh, for the or command, we or operator, we have to use the pipe, and for not, we have to use the tilde. So I'll show you all those, but for now we'll check out the and, and suppose and we want df gender is equal to equal to female. So as you can see, we've wrapped both conditions in separate brackets and then now we can execute it. So as you can see, we're getting people whose ID is greater than 20 and who are all female. So I'll just copy paste this and show you how to do it with the R command. So as I said, instead of the ampersand, you can use the pipe symbol, which is the R in logical R operator in PySpark. So now you can see we've got people who are fem either female or have their uh, ID number greater than 20. So yeah, we've got a lot of females before 20, which is why we can't we have to drag way down to see them. Yeah. So yes, we've got males who are above 20 as well. All right. So then in the next uh, column, I can show you how to use the not operator as well. So suppose we wanted to do people who are greater than 20 and IDs were greater than 20 and they were not females, that is they were males. You can just put a tilde before the second condition where you want the not specified. And now when we run it, you can see that we get all males who are above ID number of 20. So just to make it simpler for you with the not command, we can show you an easy condition. So where, and then we can do tilde df.id. So it's not df.id greater than 20. So we get every uh, person in the data frame whose ID number is not greater than 20. So as you can see, it stops at 20. All right, so that's a little bit about the where condition, where function that we use in uh, PySpark to filter data in the data frame. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, hit the bell icon, and we'll see you in the next video.